So as you heard there, Commonwealth. So as you heard there, Commonwealth title eliminator here at your call. And making his way to the ring, the, well, largely unknown quantity, it has to be said. Basumi is Yatyaka, South African. We know he can punch. He's got 15 stoppages on his record. What gets what level of opposition? Well, it's, it's not hard to ascertain, really. There's not a great deal of information on him out there, but while well, he can punch, on paper, very dangerous. So. Very dangerous indeed. His coach, Harry Cote, just leading him into the ring, described their arrival for the UK. In the UK, the first time it was cold. No arguments there. <laughs> but uh, they don't know much about Phil Bowes either. 33 years of age now, Tet Yaker. He's got his sights set on a big 2018. Well, he's had uh, an interesting 12 months, Phil Bowes. Lost to Glenfoot in that hotly anticipated English title contest back in May. It was an ugly but effective performance from Foot, one that gave Bowes no space to operate. With uh, with someone like Bowes, you you can't you know outbox him and look pretty. You have to you know have to make it a dirty fight, and that's what he did well. And well, Bowes came to Glenfoot that evening, and he's. Just been trying to make a few adaptions in his style and rethink his game plan. But I think tonight, maybe the old slick Bill might be exactly what he needs against a big punch and dangerous opponent like Masumi Tatyaka. That's it, he definitely doesn't want to get hit by a big puncher, so movement and uh, slipperiness is key. Zolani Tete, the big hitting South African, currently one of their national sporting icons at winning just 11 seconds to retain his title a few months ago. He caught made. everyone's eye and well, you just wonder whether Vesumi Yatyaka with his heavy hands will be looking to emulate that sort of performance and put himself up there. It's, the names of those big hitting South Africans, but he's got his work cut out against Phil Bowes, slick operator. That's kind it, of almost you know, he, he might be a big hitter, but it's, is he going to be able to hit Bowes is the question. He's got that kind of all, almost a Southport, kind of Cuban-esque style. He's worked on being a little more aggressive in his last outing, and he was able to do that, but I don't necessarily think that that 
should be his route one game plan against a, a man that can punch like Jack Yaker can. So really interesting to see how these two shape up against each other, knowing what's at stake. Bowles, Bowles looks a bit, fair bit bigger as well, doesn't he? Certainly does. And Jack Yaker's balance doesn't look brilliant at this particular point, it has to be said. Oh, it's a nice sharp one-two from Bowes, then sticks the jab behind it. So it was uh, Corey Sanders, the South African heavyweight, famously stopped Vladimir Klitschko for, I believe it was the second time, back in the early 2000s, 2003 I think it was. And they've got a reputation for being tough, tough men with heavy hands, but... Uh, it looks like Bowles' southpaw style was just putting off his opponent a little bit. Well, I tell you, said in the interview leading up to this that he hadn't studied Bose, hadn't seen video of him, hadn't watched him. And I think shot. he would have been advised to do so because Bose is a, a tricky, awkward customer, one that you wouldn't want to go in to a contest like this without having at least an idea of what you're in for. And I would say Bose spends more time usually on the back foot than he is already in this contest. It might, might be too late to try and work out what to do, sort of as the fight is happening. Absolutely, but as we know, oh. Jaker has got those heavy hands. He is a dangerous puncher, and so Bose always has to be alert to the ever-present danger. He's, ta he's uh, taken two big shots off Bose already. They don't seem to be troubling him at this stage, but as the fight goes on, I think it will probably get to him. We saw this kind of slightly more come forward operating from Bose against Luka Leskovic in his last contest. It was a nice long left hand from him. I think he's just implementing that kind of style into his game plan well. I think for him, boxing on the back foot and retreating is, is autopilot. But to just sit on the edge of punching distance, he's got the quick enough feet to sit at long range, jump in and out like he is there. Almost that kind of amateur style. Lovely counter. Hooked oh, to the no, head. No, was it a slip from Jack Yaker or if was it a bona fide knockdown? The referee says no. What did you make of that comment? To me, it looked like it was. It did happen on the punch. It was maybe a combination of the two things, but it was definitely a punch involved there. Certainly looked as if something landed on the way in from Jack Yaker. But as you say, was he off balance or was it the force of the punch that took him over? Maybe 50-50. Yeah. Either way, really good start to the round from Phil Bosch. Definitely, definitely. Very controlled and, yeah. He just needs to continue doing what he's doing. Well, as we say, Tatyaka, 15 knockouts in his 20 victories. That's why right, someone like that, you cannot write them off. You know, at any point in the fight, he could hit you with a punch that could end, end it. But he has himself been stopped three times. It's out by Zolani Kothili, a man with a similar knockout ratio to his, big puncher. That was uh, for the IBO International Lightweight title over in South Africa. Phil Bowes, though, two stoppages in 16. However, I would suggest that for the large portion of those, he wasn't boxing on the front foot as he was against Leskovic in his last contest. And as he has kind of started in this one this evening, and maybe a Phil Bowes that sits down on his shots a little more, turns a, turns a bit more and commits to the shots, just yeah. maybe he will have the force to... I think definitely that come forward style suits him. Suits a guy that suits a guy like Bowles that can, you know, if he needs to, go back onto the back foot and be safe. And just force the action every now and again. Nice counter. Well, this kind of pace will suit Bowes really, really well. It, it was really um, ugly stuff from Glenn Foot. I'm perfectly honest. It wasn't a pretty contest to to watch. It was maybe entertaining from fans point of view but it was just leading with the head it was elbows it was arms it was looping shots and he was just jumping all over bows and it actually became kind of more like a wrestling match than it did a boxing match whereas yeah Yaka, well he's coming forwards sometimes on occasion. you know sometimes someone someone like bows they're just too pretty too cute too compact too good to be able to fight them at their own game so you have to just rough it up and and I feel like uh, Tatyeka might have to do the same here, really, if he wants a win. Well, Bo's just teed up beautiful, stiff left hand with uh, the jab 
moment to go and already for me it's uh, well Jack Yakers I think a level below in terms of boxing lovely, but he's going to be right looking left hand to land that one shot in the dark isn't he because he knows if he does it could be all over and that's the danger for Phil Bowes always and he's got to keep switched on for the whole 10 if it goes that far may not be enough though just hoping for that one shot Quite frankly, at the moment, he doesn't look in the same league as, as Bo skill-wise, does he? Looks to be slightly off balance when he's coming forwards. He's missing Wilder with his shots. Bose looks a picture seems to of be, comfort in there. Tatiaka seems to be get, getting tangled up on uh, Bo's lead foot. But I guess that kind of happens when you're fighting uh, someone the opposite style from you. Well, opposite style, but also with such a wide base, his front foot is very, very far in front of his head. And that's kind mm. of typically what you'd see with the Cubans, whereas, you know, the likes of the Mexicans and the Eastern Europeans, the front foot's kind of in line with the head and the gloves are, are high over the high over the head, whereas Bo's wide base. And as you say rightly, Conrad, it's, it's that front foot so far in front of his body and from the southpaw stance causing Tiaka a few problems so far. He just needs to step outside of it, doesn't he, when he's throwing the right hand. But That's right. really, it just looks a case of in these first two rounds. And, you know, I don't want to speak too soon, but technically that Bose is he's just a level above the opponent that's in there with him. Most definitely. Uh, he's, he's, he's looks in control. Um, he's dictating the pace. He's landing punches at will. And uh, Tatieka just doesn't seem to have an answer for it. Getting tangled up. And Looks a little bit sloppier, really. Uh, Jack Yaker started boxing at the same time as Zelani Tete. He said, Tete has had his reward, now I'm looking for mine. And he's come all the way over to cold and rainy London for his opportunity. And uh, he's in front of a pretty tricky conundrum and a, a relaxed, slick, sharp-looking Phil Bowes with Barry Smith in his corner, renowned trainer. And, uh, former champ Darren Hamilton as well so he's got a good corner good experience and Bose will know he's just got to keep doing what he's doing so far to, to take a needs to lead with the right hand more I can see he's trying it just falling in with it a little bit when he throws with it though isn't he he's, he's it seems like he's not used to fighting southpaws I think not used to fighting Southwell, also not used to fighting someone as slick as yes. Phil Bowes is. And just momentarily, when he did sort of get in his face and bustle him up towards the ropes, that's where we know Phil Bowes can be uncomfortable and he can be undone, as we saw in the Glen Foot contest. He's got to try and well, he did. I mean, he did the right thing there and just tied him up. But, you know, that's, that's what he's got to do. Lovely, lovely feint and then a hook. But this is looking as good as we've seen Phil Bowes in, in quite some while. Very nice. Just jabs again against the gloves and then the second one gets through the head of Tiat Yaker and, uh, and just gone so that Tatyaka hasn't got anything to hit. He's missing with that jab, as you say, by a long, long way, isn't he? Nice combination to body then head from Bowes. Lovely counter hook as well. It's just pitch perfect with everything he's throwing so far. Not wasting anything. The composure on his face, you can see he's a man on a mission. He just looks in the zone, doesn't he? Relaxed right. and just calm as if he trusts his own ability. Jack Yaker moving around. I think Yaker's yeah, almost a bit bamboozled knowing whenever he commits he's going to be punished. There's that jab again, just glancing off the forehead of the South African and he misses two of his own. You can see Tatiaka's just, just trying to figure out what to do, but he doesn't really, doesn't really know what to do. And he bangs those gloves together, I think in frustration as much as anything. He's just so far short when he steps in with a jab, and Bose looks so, so comfortable as if he can see everything Tatiaka's throwing ahead of time. Just a case of trying to get Tatiaka to overcommit and then throw in the left-hand counter, maybe. I'm sure Bose is, is already setting this up in his head, already trying to work out the angles and the distance for that trap. That's right, Bowles has got, a, has got definitely got a plan and he's implementing it. Boxing beautifully so far though, 
Phil Bowes, it's even there on the inside, it was just a lovely combination and uh, forced Tatjeka to retreat out. And it's just high enough risk that he's pressing the action, but not high enough risk you would think that he looks like he's going to take no, a I mean, stupid look, shot out of the dark. His hands, his hands are right up, he's moving his head. It's going to be hard work for Tatjeka to even hit balls. There we go, a little jab came through, but... Of course, the danger punch, the, the right hand, because Bose is so fleet of foot, every time Tiaiaka tries to throw it, he's off balance because he's having to, to leap and kind lunge, lunge in. Yeah. Exactly, so it's taking the impact off of uh, that kind of shot. You get the impression Tiaiaka's probably kind of fighter that looks really, really good against somebody that wants to come forward and, and slug with him, and he's obviously got the power there, but going after a target, finding them and pinning them down, that's a completely different skill set altogether. That's it. It's, you know, styles make fights, and in this case, it's not the right style for Tateka. It's going to be very difficult for him to just, you know, just pin Bowles down in one place. We've seen, we've seen Bowles do it on so many occasions that, you know, even, in, even right in the corner, people cannot hit him. Um, and now he's just added to his arsenal the fact that he's a bit more on the front foot and he's coming forward and forcing the action as well. Just a very tricky opponent to deal with. Well, Bo said that rarely does he study opponents too much. He likes to get in the ring, see what's in front of him and, and adapt. I think he was a little guilty of over analysis he said on one occasion particularly against Joe Hughes and he said he learned from that to actually just watch a little bit of your opponent but then actually just go in and see what they're all about and well so far so looks like good. he's hurt Tatiaka a little bit lovely one too Tatiaka just looks a bit baffled in there he's trying to mill with the hands to distract and maybe buy himself a bit of time goes with the counter right hand but Bowes is a class above here at your call Working his way in with Jack Yakers back to the ropes now. Will Bose unleash? He does. Lovely, Lovely long shot. left hand to the body. Referee just says to keep it up. No complaints from the South African. I, I don't know. To me, it looked like it was on the line there, but. But well, imagine when Bose entered Lovely that shot. title contest with Glenn Foot a few months ago. This is the kind of night that he envisaged being able to box and and move and show his skill set to the crowd. He was unable to do so that night. And when you are a boxer as highly skilled and as technically proficient as Phil Bowes, that must be very, very frustrating. Definitely, definitely frustrating. But I think, you know, he's learned a lot from that. And look at, look at him now. He's boxing, you know, even better. And, uh, and I think if, if that opportunity came up again, he definitely wouldn't make that same mistake. Well, lovely one, two, landed again. Chat Yaker tried to kind of showboat and say he didn't hurt me. I think some of it came off the gloves, but man, every it's, time Bose It seems lands. to be like Tadjeka, that's, that's all he's got left in a way. Um, you know, maybe try and, try and do the psychological game onto Bowles. He just barely landed a punch in, in four rounds, has he, Tadjeka? Everything he throws, just hitting thin air, bar the odd one or two cuffing shots. Bowles just too slick, too quick, too sharp. Absolutely, in contrast, everything Bowes lands just seems to find a way through and he just doesn't throw unless he's absolutely sure. It's been a beautiful performance so far. I mean, even just down to the head movement and the footwork is levels above his opponent at the moment. He's got the height and reach advantage, but he's just using it so, so well. Having height and reach means nothing if you can't use it and impose it on your opponent. Time. But he's just working so beautifully and Chet Akers really forced to kind of move around the outer perimeter of the ring, showboating a little when he does get clipped and coming forward with these kind of speculative triple jabs and combinations that aren't landing. And I think Bo's it's, just biding his time, isn't he? falling short at the moment. What's that, fifth? Fifth round coming up, so well, it's uh, a one way traffic as far as Phil Bowes is concerned thus far at your call. At the moment, yes, Bowes definitely showing his class, and uh, Tatiaka's just in the corner figuring out what can he do, what is there left to do. 
Showboating will not get him through this. South African starting to breathe quite heavily as well in the red corner. Phil Bowes, in contrast, is a, a picture of relaxation in that blue corner. He's got Barry Smith and Darren Hamilton administering instructions to him. And as he rises to his feet for the beginning of the fifth round, we approach the halfway point and, well, I don't think Phil Bowes could be more comfortably in control at this point. No, definitely. He looks, he looks very in control. Just coming out with a lovely jab straight away. And I think as well, if he feels at this stage that he's probably completely clear on all of the scorecards, then he may just wind things up and just test Yaker's resistance to maybe body punches and see if he can slow him down even more. Because I guess going into this, knowing you're in against the puncher, you want to go in with a low risk strategy. And for someone as skilled as Phil Bowes, I think that's probably know, a that trip a there. That was a trip. But I think going in as someone against uh, as technically skilled as as Phil Bowes is, he would know that he could probably box pretty well the first four or five and stay out of trouble and not engage too much. Try and take the energy out of Tat Yaker and then maybe engage later on once his power's diminished. But so far, he's, there hasn't even been evidence of the power, has well, there? Well, that's it. He's not, he's not really been hit with anything to, to even see what the power is like, I guess. So, But yeah, no, the confidence has definitely grown in Bowes. Um, he's doing, you know, he's doing more and more of what he feels like there. Terrific left hand there. Lovely and shot. And Jack Yaker stumbled him up a little he's bit. He's just reeling in the legs when, when Bose followed it up with the looping right hook. The ref having a little look at Tatiaka's eyes to make sure he's still there. Round number five and Bose. Oh, lovely shot. Maybe sensing early victory here. Starting to wage war with the big punching South African. And this is stunning stuff from Phil Bowes. An expectant your call crowd looks on. They know he's got the quality to be boxing levels above where he is. And this evening perhaps is the night where they get to see that. And Phil Bowes. Very classy, very controlled at the moment. But he needs to be, he does need to continue to be careful of the power. We may not have sin yet, but it might be there. Lovely combination, doubling up the jab there. What a love as well as we've got this beautiful kind of hybrid between the old Phil Bowes that was slick and defensively responsible. We've got all of that, but also he's the one that's dictating the action. He's the one that's pressing the fight. When he backs off, it's on, it's on his terms. And when he comes forward, it's very much on his terms. That's and right. It's, it's always lovely to see, you know, an, a fighter add things to their arsenal. It's, it's a bit harder having to relearn complete new style, but just adding a little thing like the front foot action. Absolutely, and uh, as you say, just key to his progression is a more complete fighter. Yeah. Uh, just wonder if he had this dimension to his game, whether the Glenn Foot fight would have been a completely different story. It's hard to stop a man in that kind of form, but tonight, Kasumi Tatiakas on the end of a real hiding through round five, shakes his head as he goes back to the red corner. It's all... Uh, it's getting more and more difficult for him. Absolutely, and it's all calm and, and smiles in the corner of Phil Bowes, Barry Smith just looking happy and relaxed. Over the halfway point for Bowes, and well, he's barely broken a sweat in there so far, but he's boxed tremendously. Yes, definitely. Jack Yaker, in contrast, looking out of breath, fatigued and out of ideas, quite frankly, as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't even really know what they're saying to him in the corner. What can they say? Um, he's just got to force, force his way inside and try and, you know, put some punches on Bowles because he's not seemed to have landed very much this whole fight. I suppose it, it, it very much depends as well if he has landed any. We haven't seen him land many clean, but... One or two that have got through, whether Bose has, has felt those and felt completely comfortable with it. Because if he has, suddenly that, that record on paper becomes irrelevant because mm. ultimately mm. it's the man that's in front of you. And if he's yeah. comfortable with what's in front of him and feels okay to engage, then I suppose he does so at his own risk, given that he's now, well, he only needs one more round to, to be well and away on the scorecards. But he's, I mean, he's still being careful though. He's still, you know, moving forward and 
making sure he doesn't get kind of any counters. He's, he's not completely thrown, thrown everything to the wind. Jay Aker again, just jabbing at thin air as Bose relaxed and comfortable. That takes uh, takes a lot of energy out of you as well, missing. Especially if you try and you know put a meaty shot on someone and you just hit air. bit of success from Tiat Yaker. It was minor and it was fleeting. Boz has gone a little bit on the back foot to this, uh, this round so far, just showing that you can't hear him at all. There we go. He's still relaxed, Bose, isn't he? Just uh, in the groove, so to speak. Doubles up the jab to the body. Jack Yaker negative, moving away from the conflict. S some of those still connecting, kind of glancing punches. Looking for that right hand. Hook counter. Check hook, I suppose, as they call it. Starting to turn into a little bit of a chess match now. They're just both trying to get closer to each other. Well, both so comfortable at this point, but he's almost made Chatyaka completely reticent to commit because he's been so dominant in the first half of the contest. And that then means he has to go looking more for Chatyaka and in return, that makes Tiat Yeka more negative. So it's kind of a perpetuating cycle. And Tiat Yeka knows that he's not landing when he's coming forward. So why would he come forward? Yeah. But I mean, either way, Bowles is definitely controlling, controlling what is going on inside of the ring at the moment. Lovely, lovely left hand. One, two, that was nice. Well, uh, a quiet round by... Uh, standards of this contest so far. Round six ticks through without incident. Phil Bowes again looking comfortable and relaxed. Probably another round in the bank for him. and So he'll be well clear on the scorecards as we head into round number seven. In contrast, Yasumi Tatyaka in the red corner will be, well, if the judges ringside are seeing what we're seeing at I mean, the commentary desk, he'll be seven rounds behind. That's right. Well, six rounds, right? Thank you, pardon. Six rounds. So Phil will be able to relax even more, which I don't know how much more relaxed he can get. Um, yeah, but now he's just... I think he's going to probably just come out and be a little bit more creative with his shots and potentially uh, the, uh, see if he can go for a stoppage. Fork in the road for, for Phil Bowes. He, he either decides to go for the stoppage, as you say, or he knows he's absolutely well and away on the scorecards yeah. here and just boxes himself comfortably as kind of a, a low risk strategy towards a guaranteed Commonwealth title shot and I think that's probably the most sensible thing to do but when this crowd starts to bubble in your call under the lights and if you fancy that your opponent hasn't got anything like what you thought he had on paper maybe it just makes you think well let's try and get this guy out of there let's get the grandstand finished that he wasn't able to get a glance Glenn Foot and quite quite honestly his skill set probably deserves. Well, yeah, it looks like you're right. He's just taking his time, just outpointing Patiaka uh, at the moment. Lovely little combination inside, a little clash of heads. Jack Yaker covering up there, goes through the one-two. Just be nice to see a couple of those counter punches from Bose, because Jack Yaker is uh, committing to the double and the triple jab. You feel the left-hand counters there for Bose. He's just backing off and ducking, isn't he? Rather than planting his feet and taking his head off centre line, throwing that counter. It's like you said, he's, he seems to be just wanting to play it safe rather than 
risking getting hit with uh, shots on the counter. Like you said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, absolutely. Lovely sharp movement from Bowles. And you can just tell from his physique, can't you? He's just conditioned for this kind of distance, lean, no excess muscle, but well muscled. Explosive, fast, but fit too. And the whole package is coming together really nicely indeed. It's and again, he's just showing how, how elusive he is there. Got him right into the corner to check and got balls right into the corner and just could not hit him. Nice counter hook over the top there from Bose. Well, the pace of the contest certainly has slowed in the last couple of rounds. I don't think for once of trying for Bose, just that Chatyak has been a negative in the last four or five minutes and understandably so very very difficult one for him this very disparaging when everything you throw is kind of hitting thin air but he keeps he's getting tagged more and more that's three kind of nice clean punches i saw just in the last few seconds it would just be see, nice to see both try and walk him onto something magnify the impact of those shots because everything he's landing he's landing when chat is on the back foot that's and therefore it. it's just taking the sting off those shots but you try and get that left hand going when Chat Yaker commits to throwing, just maybe he could land something with real spite and impact. But well, so far, so far, so good for Phil Bowes through round number seven. Definitely. That I mean, that that bit of advice is maybe what the guys are telling uh, Bowles in the corner right now. Um, you know, let let him walk onto a punch and counter. Um, but yeah, very controlled, lovely sharp movement. I mean, it, it, Bowles doesn't even look like he's, you know, it looks like he's on the first round still. The amount of energy and up he's got in his movement. So away we go then. Round number eight here at your call of uh, schedule 10. This Commonwealth eliminator. He's coming out again real with some aggression this time. Just perhaps Bose was having a round off, gathering himself, but a big wind up. Oh, Chat Yaker landed a couple of shots on the inside there. And there was a bit of a headbutt as well on the inside. That's what um, Bowles was wincing at. That's the danger of being so, sort of an aggressive come forward guy, you know, you, you can hit heads. There's certainly frustration from the South African, isn't there? Just been missing so often with the jab in the right hand. and oh, He's just got to try and turn this ugly, try anything at all to land that one shot. But Phil Bowes, I think, is a... Uh, as a result, will probably be able to land more if Chat Yaker begins to commit himself. He may just find himself walking into heavy artillery. That's right. As, lo as long as Bowles remembers not to just move out of out of danger and, and actually counter as well. It's a long left hand for Bowes to the body. Lovely jab. Just then he could have he could have maybe thrown a little counter. I think you're right. I think that's the only thing really missing from tonight's performance. He he can make people miss. Like very few, but it's just that occasional step back and counter where he's so in control of his body and his balance, you just feel there, for example. Yeah. Two phase. And I mean, if, if he did it as well, it would put off his opponent so much more. Like so they, would, they would not want to throw anything after a while. It's all very well making them miss the first jab, but then stepping and anchoring on the second jab, putting the left hand down the centre. And you just know that Chat Yake is open for it too. It's crying out for that. But, well, as you say, Bo's maybe just taking a slightly more 
safe option, which completely understandable, given what's at stake and yeah. given everything else, he's well ahead. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's one of those things, if you're in complete control, then why change it? Absolutely. And we'd only berate him if he did walk into something stupid, wouldn't we? So this is a, a calm, competent performance from Phil Bowes at your call. Another nice jab. Full control then with just two to go for Phil Bowes. So Tiega, I feel he might start trying to just, you know, come out and swing for it because he's not got really much left to do. If he wants to win this, he's going to have to try and pull out a stoppage. Well, he looks tired, doesn't he, in the red corner, and you just wonder, as you say, whether his coach will say, look, it's kind of kitchen sink time for you because if you don't do it now, it might never happen. And Malboz is, I wouldn't say cruise control. I think that's probably uh, doing the South African a little disservice. He's switched on through each round. He's certainly not losing concentration, but he's comfortable enough in the groove of what's coming at him, the rhythm and the pattern of his opponent that I he knows what? he can see this out as it is. So unless Jack yeah. Laker does anything different, then this is just going to go to 10 and go to a unanimous decision on the scorecard. That's right, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can tell from Bowles now that he's definitely, he's happy just seeing it out how it is, to be fair. Just be very careful. Don't get caught with anything silly. You can tell how, how he's even just leaning back a little bit. Absolutely, more. yeah, absolutely. Just got that front foot nice and wide so that he's always kind of in range to, to punch if Kat Yaker over commits, but he's always got the head, like you say, just behind that centre line, making sure that he's safe, can take the sting out of anything coming his way. That's it. He did a little bit of a counter there as well, which was... Maybe there's more weight in these shots than we're giving Chat Yaker credit for. Maybe he's just clipped him with a couple and Bose knows that actually there is something in these. It doesn't look much from here, it has to be said. When he's throwing, there hasn't really been evidence of the snap or the spike that his record uh, suggests. But, but, you know, when you're so close to the finish and, and you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, as they say, you don't want to risk it now, so... You're better off just staying safe. Although he's he's coming back forward on the front foot now. I've got to remember Tat Yakers. Sorry, Tim. Sorry, yeah, uh, Tat Yakers. He's come a long way for this as well. You know, all the way from South Africa. It's a big opportunity for him. Yeah, you know, you know, he's going to fight his heart out uh, and leave it all in the ring. Hopefully. Oh, wow. Well, let's just hope that that hasn't resulted in any. Um, Injuries, Bowes looked pretty flexible there. Didn't seem to wince in, in pain or anything, but my goodness, he, his leg went a long way down then. That was the, the Van Damme splits, near <laughs> enough. Those are a little bit beyond me these days. <laughs> in fact, any days. Lovely left hand connected just then for Bowes. Tatiaka just hesitated on his uh, overhand uh, shot then, which could have potentially landed, but... Well, was just too slick. Too slick of an operator for Tatiaka at the moment. Could probably count the punches on, uh, on my hands the meaningful ones that have landed from Toteka in the whole fight so far. He's actually got the, the look, Phil Bowes, of, of a man that could genuinely box at this Lovely kind of pace shot. for the kind of old school distance, 15 rounds plus, yeah. even 20 rounds arguably, just looks so, so comfortable at this stage. Um, and as we go into the final round, it's, a, it's about as uh, kind of a, a kind of performance that fighters really dream about, isn't it? Just everything going well, punch perfect, and bar having the stoppage, he hasn't put a foot wrong, Phil Bowes, tonight. And you 
certainly have to say that sits in stark contrast given how he left the ring against Glenn Foot just over a year ago. Most definitely. I think um, Glenn Foot's done everything right. I mean, not Glenn Foot, Philip Bowles, excuse me. Um, he's done everything right tonight, and uh, Tacheco's opponent just hasn't got any answers for it. You know, I don't know what he could have done really different to, to try and have a better fight. So Tatyaka just kicked his water bottle back under the ropes. The two touch gloves and Phil Bowes knows surely now he is three minutes away from a shot at the Commonwealth title. You can see Tatyaka's just trying to get there now for that one big punch. That is all he's got left. Bowes just moving around the outside, isn't he? Just content to sit and wait for his man to come and he knows that Tatyaka will throw he needs to, Tatyaka needs to at least try and cut him off, not just chase him around. It's not. He's just not cutting the ring off at all, is he? No, he's literally just following him around. Lovely work from Bowles. The more he walks into those kind of shots, the more reticent he'll be to do so. And already he's starting to relinquish centre ring, isn't he? Mm. That's how brilliant Phil Bowes has been this evening. Just given Tatyaka in a round where he needs something, the impetus to come forwards put on him two or three heavy shots and Lovely then just slip. Lovely. regain complete control of the contest. It's just uh, starting to look like the Matrix in there. Pacheco literally cannot lay a glove on both. And Bose, as you said, just retain that sharpness all the way through the 10 rounds completely untouchable here at your call yeah I mean looking at Bowles right now he could probably do another 10 rounds straight away consummate performance from the hometown man as the Just two get tangled up there tangled up and come together and Tatyaka just becoming infinitely more and more frustrated as the seconds tick down in round number 10. Bowes just ducking and sliding into space. Knows he's got victory in his sights. He's not going to engage any more than he has to here. Lovely counter as Jack Yaker stepped into his space yeah. in his backyard and he's made your call, his own tonight, Phil Bowes. So Jacob had a tiny bit of success, but just got counted straight away. And this is to be Phil Bowes' night at your court. Counters with the left hand, hold centre ring in front of fully the crowds in here in London. He is fully in control. Just showing off that movement again. Vasumi Tatyaka has been royally outboxed here in the grandest of venues for boxing in the, the capital of England. Phil mm. Bowes has come home to London and made your call his own this evening. He's earned his Commonwealth title eliminator and Vasumi Tatyaka will have to go back to South Africa second best this evening because it was about as one side as, as performance that's As it, you'll you see know, in this. He definitely tried, but it just wasn't enough to even get close to Bowles. He's a level above. Barry Smith and Darren Hamilton in the corner of Bowes looking very happy. Smiles all round. And, and I don't think it's going to take long to top these scorecards up. And Bowes will know what a terrific job he's done this evening. Wasn't anywhere near the most difficult of tests for him. I think every round, I'd have to give Bowles every round. And a terrific response from this your call crowd too. Phil Bowes very much back in action. Really, really good to see. And as the two fighters come together, let's hear the official results.
Well, Commonwealth title eliminator. Guy comes over from South Africa. He's got a puncher's reputation. A little bit of an unknown quantity. You dealt with him pretty handily. Yeah, I mean, um, for someone who's meant to be a puncher, he didn't really engage much. So I was thinking, is the record padded or what? Because he didn't engage at all. So I was a bit, I was apprehensive the first couple of rounds. I didn't seem engaged. Then I just thought, you know what, let me just box on the back foot, you know? You boxed on the back foot, but you also put the pressure on him when he did come forward. A couple of times there were some uh, quite exciting exchanges. How did you feel your strength compared to his strength? You know what, um, I, I wasn't really trying to be stronger than him. I was just trying to do what I was doing in the gym, learning my, the craft in the gym and trying to execute on the night. So really and truly, I just um, stuck to a game plan. You stuck to your game plan. The, the game plan you told me for the next fight, ideally, your old rival Glenn Foot faces Jason Easton for the, for the vacant Commonwealth Super Lightweight title. You've just won the Eliminator. You want Foot to win that, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I definitely want my own nemesis Foot to win that because obviously the last time we fought for the English title, I thought I was robbed, you know? If I had a more clinical referee, I think I would have, um, you know, been victorious. But that's neither, that's neither here nor there. I want to put the record straight if he does win the Commonwealth title. And um, I'm in line for it next. Well, that's next. Just to go back to the fight, any uh, any words of praise for your opponent tonight? Um, yeah, he was a, a tough, tough, durable per, um, opponent. I mean, yeah, he was a um, good opponent. Um, he looks good at my record. So, yeah, on to the next. On to the next. Phil, congratulations. Let's hope for... Uh, Really big fight later this year. Thanks,